The Hubble Space Telescope was launched in 1990. It is actually 31 years old and it's aging. The end of the mission is between 2030 to 2040. In this period of 31 years, the telescope has been repaired, upgraded and the systems changed during the course of five space missions. But I can say that NASA had planned eventually much ahead of its time. They have planned a successor to the Hubble telescope that is the James Webb Space Telescope and it is planned to be launched in December 2021. It depends on the year you are watching or the space time or to the star date. Hail to the techy fans. But I'm digressing. The other telescope is the Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope. So let's dive in to learn more about this telescope. Just so that you know, I have divided the video into various sections. those can be found either here or here the telescope was launched in 2016 wide field infrared it was later renamed as nancy gray roman space telescope on may 20th 2020 and one more thing it had to undergo many delays due to cost overruns and obviously due to this covid pandemic but the most interesting part is that who was nancy gray roman Nancy Grace Roman was a noted American astronomer who made great contributions to stellar classifications and motions. She was the first chief executive at NASA and served as NASA's first chief of astronomy throughout the 1960s and 1970s, establishing her as one of the visionary founders of the US civilian space program. She created NASA's space astronomy program and is known to many as the mother of Hubble for her foundational role in planning the Hubble Space Telescope. She was an amazing lady. Now coming back to our telescope. It will have a primary mission lifetime of 5 years with a potential 5 year extended mission. As to why it has a very short lifespan planned when compared to Hubble, it is up to NASA and its scientists to answer. But before probing on that ponderous question, let's ponder on the spacecraft's wonderful features. The Roman Space Telescope has a 2.4 meter telescope. the same size as hubble's but with a view 100 times greater than hubble's the telescope has a primary mirror that is of 7.9 meters in diameter that's almost the same size as that of the hubble telescope the roman telescope will have two instruments the wide field instrument and the coronagraph instrument let's talk about those instruments it has a 300 megapixel wide field instrument which will image the equivalent detail of 100 images from hubble as the primary instrument the telescope will measure light from billions of galaxies during the course of its mission the telescope will complete statistical census of planetary systems in the galaxy by using micro lensing that is a universe own magnifying glass to find thousands of exoplanets coming to the second instrument that is the coronagraph instrument contrary to what some people may believe it does not have crown like thorns like the coronavirus it will perform a technique called coronagraphy to block the glaring light of exoplanet host stars to directly see planets and planet forming disks you can say that it blocks corona like light from exoplanet host stars let's come to the question of why do we need this telescope such a wide field of view will generate either two unseen views of the universe which will help astronomers understand some of the greatest mysteries like why expansion of the universe seems to be accelerating the nancy gray telescope is designed to answer our questions on exoplanets infrared astrophysics and delve into the mysteries of dark energy on how changes have happened in the distributions of galaxies and dark matter throughout cosmic history so that's all in today's video okay guys see you later